So yeah, in, in the nuclear industry uh, in the U.S., not necessarily abroad, but definitely in the U.S., there is kind of a lost generation because in the 60s and 70s was what the golden nuclear age where everything, everyone was building reactors. Everyone wanted to build reactors. And lots of people were entering the field that was new and exciting. And then Three Mile Island happened in 1979, and the media frenzy kind of got a little bit out of control, and people didn't decide they didn't want to build reactors anymore. And there were also, you know, of course, some economic reasons involved in that too, but Three Mile Island was the main event that kind of shut down the nuclear industry for a couple of decades. And um, so there, is, there was a long period of time, about 20, or 20 years, where no one really entered the nuclear industry. And so there was kind of this missing generation. And um, it wasn't until the last 10 years when there started to be hype and talk about the so-called nuclear renaissance that people of the millennial generation started getting back involved in nuclear technology. And so um, it's a positive thing um, because, you know, for young people getting into the field, it's great because the average age of a nuclear engineer is pretty old. It's like definitely higher than the average age of engineers in other fields. And so like if you're a young person in nuclear engineering, there's definitely lots of, lots of room to, to like move up quickly and advance quickly because the older people are starting to retire and there aren't really that middle-aged group of people there. They're, kind of, they're not actually there and so it's kind of like the older people. And then the millennials, 